hamstring curl, reach and pull. Here we go. How is everyone? Well, Renee's a rock star. She got up on the board and she rode surfboard like nobody's business. Were you there to see it? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Uh, I saw that post. I'm like, that's so cool. I've never even tried that. Crisscross. It's very daunting to me. I've been trying and trying and trying. Oh, yeah. Uh, looks hard. Looks very, very hard. Hinge and swing is next on the beep. Here we go. Hinge, swing, thrust your hips forward. When it beeps, we will do front kicks. I'm hearing an echo. Are you hearing an echo? I am. Okay. We'll see if that goes away. If not, I'll change it. Front kicks. Oh, I'm sweating already. It must be warm out here. <laughs> the warm up is warming you up. Three, two, and one. Jog in place or jog around your space. Light on your feet, be a little lifted. Side skips will be next. In five, four, three, two, one. Side skip, here we go. Use the arms to get some lift. Modified jumping jacks in four, three, two, and one, modified jumping jacks to start. If you can, throw in some regular jumping jacks. Almost done. There's your beep. Ooh. Change that to step back, arms overhead. Gently push that heel toward the floor. Ignore the beep. All right, changing that to alternating hip circles. Seems like today we're gonna to have the perfect weather day. <laughs> Hoping to get outside later. Even it out, do one or two more. And then change it to squat side bend, here we go. Squat down, up side bend. A little bit lower with each squat. Oh yeah, I'm feeling like it's gonna be a warm one today too. Gonna sweat. Here comes your beat. All right, finishing off three times. Reach up towards the ceiling, big stretch. Swan dive down. Hug the abs in, roll yourself up, do it again. And roll yourself up one more time, big reach forward bend, stay here. Take a few deep breaths. And then bend your knees, roll yourself up, 
and getting ready for the workout. Let's see here. What's first? Okay, so we have our tri set where we've got um, two strength moves and then cardio. The strength move is a squat with that push forward, pull back. So that's usually a medium dumbbell. Then tricep dips, tricep bench dips, or if that is super uncomfortable for you, which it is sometimes for people, you can do overhead tricep extension with that dumbbell, a medium or heavy. And then the cardio burst is four jumping jacks, jump forward, walk it back. So you can do modified or regular jacks, four of those, and then you do a small jump forward and then walk yourself back and then four jacks again. So that's a bit of power with cardio. So grab your medium dumbbell. I did not check my time. Okay, we went 10 reps last time. So let's go for time. Okay, 50 seconds, five zero. So this is lower down, hold the bottom of the squat, push that dumbbell forward, pull it back in, and then stand three, two, one, here we go. Lower down, hold the squat, push it forward, pull it back in, exhale, push the floor away to stand, repeat. Sit back in those heels. When you're holding the bottom of the squat, you should be able to wiggle your toes, but also push the big toe bone down like the, on the ball of the foot, just a little bit to ground your feet so that they don't roll out. <laughs> Definitely gonna sweat. If at any point it becomes too much or it hurts your back, you just change it into regular goblet squats where you're holding the dumbbell, go down up. That would be a good alternative, holding at the bottom for three counts. Gets to be pretty tough by the end. There's your oh. beep rest. Okay, tricep dips. This works really well on a coffee table, a fireplace, um, any kind of bench that you might have. Chair, not always, depends on how wide the seat is. I'm going to do it on my chair just for the video. You can also do overhead extensions. All right, on set one, I want you to do 10. 10, whatever one you pick. Count your own reps. Whenever you're ready, let's go. Exhale on the flex. On the push. Those are as hard as push-ups. Those yeah. can be really hard. Those are super hard. A lot of people really hate those. <laughs> They're also tricky because the internal rotation on the shoulder, which we've worked on a lot. So hopefully it's okay. Um, that's why there's an alternative. All right, four jumping jacks, hop forward, walk it back. I'm gonna get rid of my mat so I'm not accidentally tripping on it. 45 seconds, three, two, one, go. Four regular jacks or modified, broad jump forward, soft landing, walk it back. Do it again. I want you to really practice that soft landing on the jump. Doesn't have to be super, super far forward. Gotta bend your knees when you land. It's 45 seconds long. You only have eight seconds to go. Are you landing on like the ball of your feet? Rest. Yes. The further you jump, the more likely it is that you land on your heels a little bit. But yeah, mostly both. A little bit ball of your feet. As long as your knees aren't going too far forward when you land. Yeah, you don't want I might to be jumping forward. too far. I feel like I'm getting shoved into my shoe. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that'll be a thing. Rest. Okay. 
going back to the squat, I jumped my uh, barrette right out of my hair. <laughs> All right, grab your medium dumbbell, squat, push forward, pull back, stand up in three, two, one. Here we go. Squat, hold the squat, push, pull, stand. Looking for as much control as possible, deliberate controlled moves. Focus on what needs to happen, not just muscling through it, but how do your knees feel? How do your hips feel? Do you need a wider stance? That's okay if you do. Sitting back in the heels. Can't go super heavy on this weight only because when you push it forward, you're in a bit of a precarious position there. Can be hard on the shoulders or the back. Abs about 50% hugged in. There's your beat, rest. Okay, triceps. This is all relative for everyone. So aim for 12. If you can't get there, it's fine. Nobody's counting yours, everyone's counting their own. Tricep dips or overhead extension with one dumbbell. Count your 12. Here we go. Exhale on the push. Take out those arms when you're done. I don't know what it is about that, about tricep dips. It's one of those that for me, for some reason, it's not, I mean, it's hard, but it's not like I can do them fine. <laughs> you know, there's, there's exercises where you're like, I can barely do it. And for me, that's not one of them, but it is for a lot of people. Triceps are small, easy to fatigue. Four jumping jacks, broad jump forward, walk it back. That's next, get set up, going in three, two, one, here we go. Four jacks, regular or modified, jump it forward, walk it back. Focus a little bit on landing on, on your heels as much as you can. When I land on my heels, I kind of roll immediately onto the balls of my feet, but if I focus on it, I can get there. Use those arms for the jumping jacks. You're almost done. Building power on that jump. There's your beep. Walk around, catch your breath. I'm gonna time the rest. Make sure we take it. Whew, heart rate up. Remember, you can sub any cardio move if it doesn't work for you. Okay, we have a whole other 30 seconds before we do set three. It'll be the squat. <laughs> Note to self, slow, controlled breathing. All right, 15 seconds, start getting set up. Don't go on the first beat because that's just the end of the rest. Abba left it up on his deck because that's where she came in last. All right, ignore this first beat. All right, set three, grab your dumbbell. Going in three, two, one, here we go. Squat down. Push, pull it in, stand. I want you to really push the floor away on the stand. Push right down through the heels. Drop those hips nice and low if you can. Abs engaged, especially when you push the weight forward. Last set, make it good. Sweating, sweating. Whew. 
Ooh, home stretch. Oh, where's that beep? <laughs> there it is. Ooh, rest. <laughs> Legs on fire. Take a few counts to recover. Ready to do triceps. Aim for 15, do what you can safely. Don't get to 15 if the last four or five are crap. <laughs> you can have one or two crap reps, but that's it. Focus on form. Tricep dips or overhead extensions. Get set up, count your 15, ready. Here we go. Exhale on the push. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, not easy. Take a few counts to recover. Four jacks, broad jump, walk it back. Last set, three, two, one, go. lift if you're doing regular jacks use those arms quiet feet soft landings twelve seconds left Make it good. Last hard push on this one. Eight seconds. Here's your beep. Woo. Nice. Walk around. Try not to sit down. You can sit down if you're dizzy or nauseous. Otherwise, stay up and walk it off. Yeah, remind me not to sit down after those tricep dips. It's like I'm already in position. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of sit down after that one, but <laughs> just to get out of it. But then, <laughs> and then up, up, up. <laughs> okay. Oh, curtsy lunges, alternating curtsy lunges. That's the one where you step behind and across and then bend both knees. We're going to do alternating, okay, back and across. So if you had your dress on, you could curtsy. And then the next one is bicep curl open. So curl just past halfway. Open it. Shoulder blade squeeze there without arching your back on that. And then the cardio is two burpees, hands on chair, coffee table, or floor. Side skips. So two burpees, side skip down back. Two burpees, side skip down back. If you've got a big enough space, you can alternate which way you side skip. Otherwise, go to the default side on set one and the non-default side on sets two and three. Okay, alternating curtsy lunges. We're gonna go one minute on that one. You'll need your heavy dumbbells close by for the second exercise. Okay. Body weight only on the curtsy. And then you can decide for sets two and three if you want to hold dumbbells to make it harder. Chair is still in the way. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Back and across, bend both knees and then push down through the front heel to stand out of it. You do push off the back leg a little bit, but I mostly want you to push down in that front leg. If these hurt your knees, you can change it to alternating reverse lunges, regular lunge. Also, your shoulders stay squared up forward. Your hips will twist a little bit. So you do get a little bit of rotation. 
we're halfway. If these feel too easy, you can hold dumbbells for set two. You can hold them like two suitcases hanging down, or you can bring them up and kind of rest them on your shoulders. They will just make you heavier, making it harder to push up out of the curtsy. 12 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest got hard by the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I feel like for the um, video, it's often better to just do time for most things because that way you can work at your own pace on the video when you do the recording. So this is curl open, palms face forward. You curl just past halfway. Keep your upper uh, arms attached to your rib cage as you open it up. Three, two, one, here we go. Curl it past half, open, shoulder blade squeeze there, reverse it to start. Slight pause in each position so that it's not momentum doing the move. Abs engage, nice and tall, glutes engaged, elbows back just a little bit and they stay glued in that spot. Don't let your elbows come forward in front when you do the curl. Part of the reason for this is just time under tension. So the biceps have to hold while you open. And then it's a little extra on the upper back. Try not to arch. That's where flexing the core comes in. Front of the shoulders are gonna get a little work as well. Finish it, set that down. Two burpees, side skip down and back or any cardio move of your choice. I think I'm gonna alternate which way I go on my side skips because I have diagonal in this room, so I got some space. All right, two burpees, three, two, one, go. Arms overhead after the burpee. Sides get down and back. Soft landings, abs engaged. Last halfway. Woo, heart rate up, 12 seconds left. Eight. Four, three, two, and one. Rest, walk around. Oh goodness, get a drink if you need it. Control your breathing. Okay, so when I said you could hold weights for the curtsy, you could also hold one weight by the bells at your chest. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold one dumbbell. If balance is tricky on the curtsy lunges though, maybe don't hold the weight because you want your hands free so you can adjust when you wobble. If you're grabbing weights, grab them now. One minute, alternating legs on the curtsy. Three, two, one, here we go. Back and across, bend both knees, push down in that front leg to come up. Think of the front leg as doing most of the work on this. Going to get outer thigh, hips on this one too. So that's the um, benefit as opposed to a regular lunge, which we've done a lot of. So we're kind of good on maintenance on those. So this will double as the work for the outer thighs and the hips, like loop side steps, if you feel those muscles. Ooh, harder with the weight. Just keep it hugged in close. Rest. Oh, gosh. 
It's interesting. I have to control to not drive my knee into the ground. Really? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like it wants to rush down. Uh huh. <laughs> Gravity is helping you. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Hard to control the descent. A lot of value in controlling the descent for safety, yeah. but also muscle building. Just I wonder if that's a, Shannon, that could be an ice skating thing, like for a crossover push. Yeah. Yeah, because it felt very ice skating to me for a minute there. I was like, whoa. Totally. Uh -huh. Nice. All right. Two dumbbells for bicep curls. Open. Three, two, one, <laughs> go. I'm holding weights all weird so I can start my timer. Curl past half, open, close, down. And that's the value of weird lunges like the curtsy too, is that in regular life and in sports, we aren't just doing a straight lunge, right? Like it's never quite, I mean, if we're thinking about it and we're lifting a heavy rock, we can stop and, and think about good form if we're lifting something. But when we're not thinking and moving about, we're not squared up. So a lot of value in training in different ways like that. I loved those things you sent, Brene. Also. Yeah, they're great. And just quick and easy little, breathe. I get a little overwhelmed by the data out there, though. Sure. You know? Right. And it's like, this one says this, and this one says that. And, you know, rest. And it's hard I thought to it find data for menopausal women because that's not who they do studies with and on and for right True. that's the other thing and i thought it was kind of interesting because in some ways that second one you sent made an argument for crossfit type stuff you know changing it often and um two burpees side skips <laughs> take a deep breath three two one go And I don't think that means you need to change it every single day, because obviously when we do this for a whole month, we can see that in the beginning, eight was hard, and at the end, we can do 12. So that's the value in repeating, so you can actually get better at a skill. They just take a little longer sometimes to circle back to an exercise, although they have their typical ones they do a lot too, so. That's halfway. 15 seconds. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Walk around, catch your breath. We're going three sets. We're going three sets. Might Ooh. shorten things up just a little so we can get to everything. We might go a little long today because I am recording, so I like to get to everything. Oof. Everything else will be two sets, though, once we get to the next part. Okay. Okay, on the curtsy lunge, Laura, explain exactly where your back foot is landing in relation to your front foot. So, let's see here. Let's say I'm on train tracks, but there's multiple lines and they're all going forward, right? Okay. So I'm going to step back and across. So if there's a line one, two, and three, I, my foot is on one and it steps to three and then I bend. And then your knee sense? is like, it's between the two train tracks then. Ye yes. Let me think. Are we going? Sorry. No, we're not going. Oh, okay. Um, you Sorry. can see my knee. I'm trying to keep my lower leg a little bit upright. I'm trying. Oh, you're talking the back knee? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The back okay. knee is cutting that in half. That's exactly right. Okay. Alternating curtsy lunge in three, two, one, go. I can't really do a lot because I have to go so slow and careful and position it exactly right for balance. <laughs> well, you just have more time on attention. So. Right. 
or I end up like with my knee all wonka doos. Yeah, and we have not really done these. So we definitely have not trained for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I have like a, you know, anything stepping behind doesn't exist. Right. <laughs> so like I just throw my foot back there and I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. It just lands in the void. <laughs> exactly. I know what you mean though. There are things that I have done in my life where I almost feel like, ooh. Out. that worked I don't know why you know like <laughs> I did it <laughs> okay, I'm not totally aware there's your beep grab your two weights for bicep curl opens a little shorter time three two one go remember to curl just past half that's sort of peak bicep contraction in some ways. And if you stop when you're below half, it's hard on the elbow. So you don't want that just past half. Whew, sweat what? storm over here. <laughs> There's a trainer, this will be on the recording, so this is funny. There's a trainer who keeps bashing on certain exercises, like that's his thing now to get attention is to bash on certain exercises. And he bashed on that one. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> that was your beep, by the way. Two burpees, side skips. Two burpees, side skips. Get ready, we're going right away. Three, two, one. Go. It's 45 seconds. Make the most of it. Go as fast as you can, as long as you can maintain good form. Halfway. Ten seconds. Almost done. Almost done. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. Woo.